The first character we'll be exploring is Luna Lovegood. Luna is known for her unique perspective on life and her ability to see things that others cannot. While this can be seen as a strength, it's also a sign of a mental illness known as schizotypal personality disorder. This disorder is characterized by a pattern of odd or eccentric behavior, as well as a tendency to have unusual beliefs or magical thinking. Luna's belief in creatures such as Nargles and Rexperts is a perfect example of this. Next up is Ron Weasley. While Ron is known for his bravery and loyalty, he also displays symptoms of a common mental illness, generalized anxiety disorder. The disorder is characterized by excessive and unrealistic worry about everyday events, which can lead to physical symptoms such as fatigue, muscle tension, and difficulty sleeping. Ron's tendency to worry excessively about his performance in school and on the Quidditch team, as well as his fear of spiders, is a sign of this disorder. While Ron's anxiety can be overwhelming at times, he still manages to overcome his fears and help his friends when they need him most. The next character we'll be exploring is Gilderoy Lockhart. Let me introduce you to your new defense against the dark arts teacher. Me. While Lockhart is often seen as a comical character, his behavior can actually be signs of narcissistic personality disorder. This disorder is characterized by a pattern of grandiosity, a need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. Lockhart's tendency to take credit for the accomplishments of others, as well as his beliefs that he is better than everyone else, are signs of this disorder. Lockhart's narcissism ultimately leads to his downfall, as his lies and deceit catch up with him and he loses his memory. Hello. Moving on to the next character, we have Severus Snape. Snape is known for his sharp wit and cunning, but he also displays symptoms of borderline personality disorder, BPD. This disorder is characterized by a pattern of unstable moods, relationships, and self-image, as well as the fear of abandonment. Snape's intense emotions and tendency to push others away can be signs of this disorder. Despite his struggles, Snape is a complex character who ultimately sacrifices himself for the greater good. Moving on, we have Bellatrix Lestrange. Itty, bitty, baby. Potter. Bellatrix is known for her extreme loyalty to Voldemort and her willingness to do whatever it takes to serve him. Her behavior can be signs of sadistic personality disorder, SPD, which is characterized by a pattern of deriving pleasure from causing harm to others. Bellatrix's willingness to harm and even kill others without remorse as well as her lack of concern for the well-being of others, are signs of this disorder. While Bellatrix is ultimately defeated, her actions serve as a reminder of the dangerous consequences of unchecked SPD. Next up is Sirius Black. While Sirius is known for his bravery and loyalty, he also displays symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. This disorder is characterized by a pattern of re-experiencing a traumatic event, avoidance of triggers, and heightened arousal. Sirius's traumatic experiences in Azkaban, as well as his guilt over the deaths of his friends, can be signs of this disorder. Despite his struggles, Sirius remains a loyal and loving friend to Harry Potter and plays a crucial role in the fight against Voldemort. Dry up, Dursley, you great <clears throat> Rubius Hagrid, the lovable half-giant and Hogwarts gamekeeper, exhibits several traits that are consistent with Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD. ASD is a developmental condition that affects an individual's ability to communicate and interact with others. Hagrid's difficulty in understanding social cues such as sarcasm, nonverbal communication, and his obsession with a few subjects indicate his Autism Spectrum Disorder. Lord Voldemort displays several traits consistent with psychopathy. Psychopathy is a personality disorder characterized by a lack of empathy, impulsive behavior, and a tendency to manipulate and exploit others for personal gain. Voldemort's complete lack of remorse for his actions, his willingness to harm and kill others without hesitation, and his grandiose selves of self-importance are all signs of this disorder. 
Last but not least, we have Fred and George Weasley. While the Weasley twins are known for their mischievousness and pranks, they also display symptoms of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD. This disorder is characterized by symptoms such as inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. Fred and George's tendency to be easily distracted, their inability to sit still, and their impulsive behavior are all signs of this disorder. Despite their challenges, Fred and George continue to bring laughter and excitement to the wizarding world. If you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the video description for more information on online mental therapy. Remember, taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health.